Ciao ragazzi, I'm Roberta Past Evangelist and today we're gonna make sweet potato gnocchi. For the vegan sweet potatoes gnocchi we need uh, of course the sweet potatoes which we have cleaned, roasted and mashed. Then we are going to add the zero zero flour, some nutritional yeast, some salt. Let's start guys! So we have, I have placed into a large mixing bowl just because the sweet potatoes they contain uh, enough water so it's going to be a little bit sticky at the beginning so I will suggest to start to work to add the flour and the remaining ingredient in a mixing bowl and then we're going to move to the um, actual wooden board. When you add the flour whenever you make a gnocchi you need to add it slowly uh, just uh, in case you know you don't need it all and you can see that the dough is already nice and firm. I always keep a little bit of flour then to shape the gnocchi. Now we are going to add the yeast and a bit of salt and we start to mix all the ingredients together. Once you have reached a, a crumble consistency and you can see that the water from the sweet potato has been absorbed, then you can move to your large surface. Let's clean and use everything is left over. And now I want you to bring the dough together. It's also important when you make gnocchi to don't over knead the dough. More time you spend kneading the dough, more flour you need to add it. And this will be, the consistency will change once you cook the gnocchi. Still a little bit soft, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a tiny little bit of flour. Fantastic! The gnocchi are ready. Once you have reached this consistency, I have shaped it into a long sausage. Um, and uh, you can, I have dusted all the flour on top, so probably that's why you cannot see the color now. But once you start to cut it through, you can see the beautiful color of the uh, sweet potatoes. Now what you have to do basically is just to start to shape the gnocchi. Do you remember the flour that we have left uh, um, over for from, from the original recipe? It's gonna help us to shape, so to don't get the gnocchi too, uh, too sticky. What I'm gonna do first, I'm going to place a little bit of flour so you don't get a too sticky uh, uh, dough. Then I'm going to shape into a skinny snake this time. Uh, it all depends on you how large you want to do the, do the, the gnocchi. It's about a, a centimeter uh, thick. So be very gentle because these are uh, very delicate so you can break it easily. So we are going to cut it in half. I leave it there and I'm gonna show you in a second all the shape in one. Guys, now we are ready to shape the gnocchi. You can simply use a sharp knife, uh, or I do have, this is just a pasta scraper, which is uh, much easier for me to uh, shape into, into gnocchi. I have added more flour, and now I'm just going to cut it. Bellissimi! separate and then you leave it to rest on a wooden board yeah so you prevent the, the gnocchi to get too too sticky so we have uh, cutted the gnocchi now you got a few ways if you wanna you can let me show you I have uh, a gnocchi board so it's uh, a 
just a simple way of uh, make it a little bit look very pretty. So I have left a little bit of flour. Now you take uh, the gnocco and you just slowly shape on the uh, gnocchi board. Don't press too much because they are very delicate and uh, we don't want to really to break it. Uh, you don't have to use a gnocchi board, you can simply leave as it is, you can do also smaller and if you want to you can do little gnocchi just uh, using both of your hands and you can do these uh, this way. So we are going to continue to shape until we finish off all the gnocchi and then we are ready to cook. How to pair the sweet potatoes gnocchi? You can uh, use uh, a nice uh, vegan butter with sage. You can, to keep it simple, you can just pair with a nice quality extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of pepper. Why not? You can add your favorite vegan pesto. So guys, I'm gonna finish off all the remaining dough and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and let me know what other vegan recipes you would like to see. Ciao!